Good evening, everyone, and, and welcome to this program. My name is Jaira Placide, and I'm the Associate Director of the Institute of African American Affairs here on campus. And I um, want to thank everybody again for coming out in this somewhat not inclement weather yet, but I'm glad it's being done today and, and not tomorrow. So welcome to Brother to Brother, Sister to Sister, a series um, celebrating the works of LGBTQ artists. And um, we're happy to present to you this evening another stellar uh, LGBTQ artist, uh, Sharon Bridgeforth, Jewel Gomez, and Lorenzo Herrera y Lozano. <laughs> and then our esteemed moderator, Eve Sandler, over here. So um, before I introduce Eve, I just wanted to tell you, just my, my time here is very brief, just to tell you a little bit about um, the background of the series. And um, the first one, it's a year-long series we've decided to do at the Institute. And the first one was November 18th, about two, three weeks ago. And we had Bill Wright, we had um, Linnell Moise, and then we have Thomas Allen Harris. It was indeed an extremely special, special uh, evening, and we'll show this this evening will, will be the same. So let me just read my little cards here and I'll be out the way. <laughs> the first one will be, again, just to give you a background on, on the series. The Institute of African American, oh, before I begin, I have to thank um, our two co-sponsors, the NYU Center for the Study of Gender and Sexuality, and also the NYU LGBTQ Student Center, who, who they were very extremely enthusiastic of being co-sponsors of this program. So the Institute of African American Affairs at New York University presents a year-long series on lectures, poetry, readings, and film screenings with key figures as well as emerging stars of the LGBTQ intelligentsia. At a time when LGBTQ issues are openly being considered in mainstream consciousness, it prompts us to rethink the boundaries and conceptual paradigms surrounding the production of cultural knowledge from the perspective of LGBTQ artists, scholars, and activists. What are the new questions and challenges posed by their works via both the personal and the public? What are the various things, both within and outside the prescribed category of gender and race, which includes the issues of representation, racism, and homophobia? Phobia. These conversations will begin an exploration into the many LGBTQ narratives that examine and reveal perceptions, attitudes, continuous negotiations, or better yet, renegotiations, and cultural systems of survival. And in the March, we'll have uh, two more coming, coming up. And at this point, I would like to introduce to you our moderator, Eve Sandler. <laughs> Eve, Eve is the founder of <laughs> acuratorial.com an online gallery and arts and cultural site that will be launched in spring 2014. Eve is a multimedia artist whose paintings, rituals, and altars and video works have explored intergenerational black female experience, trauma, cleansing, healing, archetypes, and transformation. Eve's artwork has been shown in numerous museum exhibits um, Sandler's uh, Eve's acclaimed film, The Wash, A Cleaning Story, premiered at Outfest, the Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, and was part of the exhibit Cinema Remix and Reloading, Black Women Artists and the Moving Image Since 1970 at the Contemporary Arts Museum in Houston. Four years ago, and this is a, the really good part about Eve, Eve also began performing as a jazz singer in small rooms in and around town. So welcome, Eve Sandler, and thank you. Enjoy the evening. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Daira, um, for your lovely introduction, and also for all your work and planning for this series. Um, you've done such good work and put together these fantastic panels. Um, I'd also like to thank Monty Diawara, the director of the Institute of African American Affairs. He will probably be here later. He's teaching a class. <laughs> but for his vision of putting together brother to brother, sister to sister, the celebrations of LGBT artists. <coughs> and we're going to have a wonderful program. We have fantastic artists here tonight. And I'd just like to also mention 
Well, I, actually, Jairo, you did. Uh, our last panel, which I also moderated, of Thomas Allen Harris, Linnell Moise, and Bill Wright. It was very moving, very encouraging, and very much a celebration, and an interesting look at how so much has changed, and yet so much hasn't. Um, I know you're going to be equally moved by our panel tonight. Um, before I go any further about tonight's panel, I just have to acknowledge that we have an extraordinary group of people in our audience, and I'd just like to um, mention a few of them. If I don't mention your name, please forgive me. Even with my glasses, my vision is not too great. <laughs> so. you're not extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, clearly, we're in a room filled with friends, and I want to welcome you all. All are welcome tonight. Uh, so let me just mention that Cheryl Clark yeah. is here, <laughs> amazing poet, writer, and all of these people are great inspirations and have been inspirations to me. Um, Peggy Shaw and Lois Weaver of Wow Cafe, <laughs> Blanche Wise and Cook, and Claire Koss, <laughs> writers extraordinaire, and uh, friends, wonderful. I have to say, everyone I'm mentioning is a wonderful friend, aren't I lucky? Uh, Michelle Shea, mm -hmm. writer extraordinaire. Um, I'm going to mention Alexis DeVoe. Where are you, honey? Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, I have to take a little special moment with Alexis here because. Um, Let's just go back to the 70s for a moment. When I met a lot of these illustrious people, I remember a friend of mine, Shirley Steele, um, and I was just coming out as a lesbian. And my friend Shirley Steele said, oh, you've got to come to this salon tonight. And I said, oh, really? You know, it was in Brooklyn. I live in Manhattan. And uh, she said, oh, yes. So I went over to her house, and. Also, there was Dorothy Randall Gray, another wonderful writer and poet, and other friends. Uh, D Dorothy was here at the last uh, um, panel that we did. And I remember Shirley took me, and we went and to Alexis's home. And I remember Shirley saying to me, well, Cinderella, welcome to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, was it something. Um, what a heady immersion into New York sisterhood community. It was really something. And Gwendolyn Hardwick, you were there too. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you were both there and gave quite a theatrical performance. And there was so much performance that I wasn't sure where the performances ended and real life started. Um, it was very exciting very life transforming and I'll never forget any of you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, also to mention that one of the things um, that Alexis did was start a writer's workshop uh, which became Gap Tooth Girlfriends <laughs> and which Jewel among others was a participant in and they published a really important but probably impossible to get uh, chapbook called Gap Tooth Girlfriends with an incredible photo, I think it's really historical, taken by uh, Ann Chapman. I mean, it's a phenomenal photograph. It's a piece of history, truly. So thank you for that and everybody participated. I wasn't in Gap Tooth Girlfriends, but I was considered to be a Gap Tooth Girlfriends angel, meaning somebody who supported <laughs> the group. Um, also here tonight, um, and I mentioned Gwendolyn Hardwick, who was here at the last forum, is Flavia Rondo. Where's Flavia? Oh, thanks, Flavia. Uh, another dear friend uh, who is a feminist art critic and historian of quite great note. And also, uh, is, did you bring your class from Lesbian History Archives? Hope they will arrive. They will arrive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I want to welcome, uh, mention also Rosamond King, um, 
Rosamond was really, really deeply in, uh, involved in putting together the Yari Yari conferences at NYU. So I'd like to acknowledge that and thank you for all your great efforts and also for being the keeper of the flame of Yari Yari, which was of course started by the late, dearly departed Jane Cortez. Um, I'm sorry, if I miss anyone, please forgive me, but Marilyn Worrell, you're yes. here. <laughs> Artist choreographer, mm -hmm. um, director performer. Okay, enough about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, um, I really do want to acknowledge that Mounty has done something very important in putting this series together and envisioning it. And uh, I've had the good fortune over the years of being involved with some uh, events and also with the publication of, uh, as an original designer of uh, Black Renaissance, Renaissance Noir. So I have a long connection with this department and I'm very proud of this series. Um, and also, I'm so happy to celebrate these important artists, LBGT artists, LGBT artists, and queer artists of color who've done so much uh, to change our worlds and share their voices and their inspiration and their courage and their originality. You know, art has the power to transform our lives. It not only transforms the life of the artist, but it transforms the lives of all of us who come in contact with this work. It, it, it challenges our assumptions, our deeply held beliefs, it can transform our souls uh, and our lives. And artists are so important and so under-celebrated in our culture. But particularly, I'd like to thank all of the artists of color, LGBT artists and queer artists who are doing their work and making this world such a more interesting, lively, enriching world. Um, and for enriching all of our lives. Um, so for those of you who attended the panel in November, and Jairi, you did touch on the artists, you know that uh, the presentations were phenomenal. And I would say that um, tonight I expect that you'll be equally moved, entertained, and educated by the artists that we're celebrating tonight. So the structure will be um, that each of the three artists, uh, Sharon Bridgeforth, Joel Gomez, Lorenzo Herrera y Lozano, will uh, present their work for 20 minutes, and then we'll all come together on this little stage and have a discussion. Um, so perhaps uh, the artists tonight can stand, uh, Joel. Lorenzo, Sharon, say hi. Um, you know what? I really actually didn't mention someone who's really important, and especially to me. And that is my partner, Joanne K. Chase. <laughs> and Loren <laughs> Joanne is a longtime activist in the Native Indigenous community in America and worldwide, and she is currently also brave warrior, warrior princess, and my love, and also uh, currently the director of Native programs at EPA in Washington. So thank you for being here. She came from Washington to do that. Um, I'd also like to say that Jaira pointed out to me that all three artists are from the Bay Area tonight. But I have to protest that that is not true. <laughs> because Jill Gomez is a New Yorker. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> 